e n dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki yakub nation of islam in the beliefs of the nation of islam n o y yakub sometimes spelled yakub or yakub was a black scientist who lived six thousand six hundred years ago and began the creation of the white race slash white people. He is said to have done this through a, the, a form of selective breeding known as referred to as grafting while living on the island of Patmos. The Nation of Islam theology states that Yakub is the biblical Jacob. The story caused disputes within the NOI during its history. Under its current leader, Louis Farrakhan, the NOI continues to assert that the story of Yakub is true, claiming that modern science is consistent with it. Story the story of Yakub originated in the writings of Wallace Bard Muhammad, founder of the Nation of Islam, in his doctrinal Q&A pamphlet, Lost Found Muslim Lesson Number 2. It was developed by his successor, Elijah Muhammad, in several writings, most fully in a chapter entitled The Making of Devil, in his book Message to the Black Man in America. Yakub was said to have been born in Mecca at a time when 3% of original black people were dissatisfied. He was a member of the Meccan branch of the Sh tribe of Shabazz. Yakub acquired the nickname Big Head because of his unusually large head and arrogance. At the age of six, he discovered the law of attraction and repulsion by playing with magnets made of steel. This insight led to a plan to create a new people. He saw, unlike any human being, able made to attract others who could, with the knowledge of tricks and lies, rule the original black man. By the age of 18, he had ex exhausted all knowledge in the universities of Mecca. He then discovered that the original black man contained both a black ger germ and a brown germ. With 59,999 followers, he went to an isle in the Aegean Sea called Palan, which Muhammad identifies with Patmos. Once there, he established a despotic regime and set about breeding out the black traits, killed all the darker babies, and created a brown race after 200 years. Yakub died at the age of 152, but his followers carried on with his work. After 600 years of this deliberate eugenics, the white race was created. The blue, brutal conditions of their creation determined the evil nature of the new race by lying to the black mother of the baby. This lie was born into the very nature of the white baby, and murder for the black people was also born in them, or made by nature a liar and a murderer. The new race traveled to Mecca, where they caused so much trouble there they were exiled to West Asia, Europe and stripped of everything but the language. Once there, they were roped in to keep them out of paradise. The soldiers patrolled the border armed with swords to prevent the devils from crossing. For many centuries, they lived in a, bar a barbaric life, surviving naked in caves and eating raw meat. But eventually, they were drawn out the caves by Moses, who taught them to wear clothes. Moses tried to civilize them, but eventually gave up and blew up 300 of the most troublesome of them with dynamite. However, they learned to use technology to usurp power and enslave the black population, bringing the first slaves to America. According to the autobiography of Malcolm X, all races were, other than black race, were byproducts of Yakub's, spelled Yakub in the biography, work as the yellow, red, yellow, and brown races were created during the bleaching process. However, the black race included Asian peoples, considered to be shared ancestors of the Moors. Whites were defined as Europeans. Elijah Muhammad also asserted that some of the new white race tried to graft themselves black, back into the black nation, but they had nothing to go by. As a result, they became gorillas. A few were lucky enough to make a start and got as far as what you call the gorilla. In fact, all of the monkey family are from this 2,000 year history of the white race in Europe. According to NOI doctrine, Jacob's progeny were destined to rule for 6,000 years before the original black peoples of the world regained dominance, a process that began in 1914. Yakub and Jacob 
The name Yakub is the Arabic variant of the name of the biblical patriarch known as Yakub in English language versions of the Bible, and is Yakob in biblical Hebrew. Far Muhammad's Yakub has some of the parallels to the biblical Jacob's role as the father of the tribes of Israel. The idea that Jews were an artificial race created by interbreeding and dependent on tricks and lies already ex existed in anti-Semitic theories of the time. The story of Yakub includes Jews as part of a wider, official, artificially created white race. The NOIs claim that Jacob altered the skin color of a specific group of humans through selective breeding is similar to a story in Genesis chapter 30, verse 37 through 43, where Jacob alters the fur color of the goats and sheep in his uncle Laban's flocks. The story could be the origin of the NOI story of Yakub. One of the major difference, one of the ma one major difference is that while the NOI says that Yakub employed selective breeding, Yakub used Jacob used sympathetic magic in the Old Testament. In speeches by Malcolm X, Yakub is identified completely with Jacob, referring to the story of Jacob wrestling with the angel. Malcolm X states that Elijah Muhammad told them that. Jacob was Yakub, and the angel that Jacob wrestled with wasn't God, it was the government of the day. This was because Yakub was seeking funds for his expedition to Patmos. So when it says Jacob wrestled with an angel, angel is only used as a symbol to hide the one he was really wrestling with. However, Malcolm X also states that John of Patmos was also Yakub, and the book of Revelation refers to his deeds. John was a coob, and John was out there getting ready to make a new race, he said, for the word of the Lord. Sources Ernest Allen argues that the Yakub myth may have been created out of whole cloth by Prophet Fard, but also could have conceivably been influenced by a real historical event during the struggle between Muslims and Christians for control of Spain. Muslim leader Abu Yusuf Yakub al-Mansur defeated the Pranks at the Battle of Alacos, uh, 1195, at the battle, 40,000 European prisoners of war were taken to Morocco to labor on Yakub's building projects. They were then set free and allowed to form Valley Sediment, located somewhere between Fez and Marrakesh. On his deathbed, Yakub lamented his decision to allow these Chabanis, as they came to be called, to form an enclave on Moroccan soil thereby possess, possessing a potential threat to the stability of the Moorish Empire. Yusuf Nur-Din says that a more direct source was the doctrine of the Jacobites, propounded by Timothy Drew's Moorish Science Temple, to which Farr has pro probably belonged before he founded the NOI. According to Drew, early pre-Columbian civilizations were founded by a West African Moor named Yakub who landed on the Yucatan Peninsula. This derived from the then current notion that gigantic heads were created by the ancient that were created by the ancient Olmec peoples of Yucatan had Negroid features. See Olmec alternative origin speculations, which had led uh, Leo Wiener to argue that they were from West Africa. They, Drew's followers, said that the huge stone heads attested to the fact that the Jacobites evolved into a race of scientific genus genuses with large heads, as depicted in the sculptures and small bodies. This legend of Yakub, a big-headed scientist, finds its way into the mythology of the Nation of Islam, indicating that its founders of NOI, W.D. Farad and Elijah Muhammad, were influenced by the Moorish Science Temple and were possibly even members. Harold Bloom, in his book The American Religion, argues that Yakub combines elements of the biblical God and the Gnostic concept of the Demiurge, saying that Yakub has irksome memorability as a crude but pungent Gnostic Demiurge. Nathaniel Deutsch also notes that Bard and Muhammad draw on the concept of the Demiurge, along with traditions of esotericism, in biblical interpretation, observing aspects of biblical tales to the new narrative, such as swords of the Muslim warriors keeping the white devils from paradise, like the flaming sword of the angel protecting the Garden of Eden, Genesis. Edward Curtis calls the story, story a black theodicy, 
a story grounded in a mythological view of history that explained the fall of black civilization, the middle, middle passage of, from Africa to the Americas, and the process, practice of Christian religion among slaves and their descendants. Several commentators state that the story, by associating blacks with high ancient civilizations and whites with kid dwelling barbarians and gorillas, both uses and spectacular reverses the populist and scientific racism of the era, which identified Africans as primitive or closer to apes than whites. This drew on article, earlier criticisms of the white supremacist Nordicism by creating a black a myth the a mythic version of attacks on Anglo-Saxon lineage and behavior that had been voiced by more mainstream black thinkers during the 19th century. With these references that NLY Muslims replicated images of European savagery in the Middle Ages that were so persuasive in 19th, so pervasive, so pervasive in 19th century black racial thought. Deutsch says that Muhammad anchored his radical doctrine within the context of an established scriptural established scriptural tradition of a biblical exogenesis, which was therefore a sophisticated form of resistance to white racism, long-standing Western tradition of identifying blackness and darkness with evil is thus dramatically reversed. Role in the Nation of Islam the doctrine of the coup was one of the main reasons for splits in the nation of Islam. Malcolm X in his autobiography notes that in his travels in the Middle East, many Muslims reacted with shock upon hearing the doctrine of the coup, which, while pre present in NOI theology, does not appear in mainstream Islam. He rejected the story in his later statements, asserting that anyone of any race who intentionally deprives others of basic human rights is a devil. War Dean Muhammad, who took over the nation of Islam after his father's Elijah's death, rejected it almost immediately and tried to reinvent the nation as a mainstream Sunni Islam movement. Louis Farrakhan reinstated the original nation of Islam and has reasserted his belief in the literal truth of the story of Yakub. In a 1996 interview, Henry Louis Gates, chairman of the Harvard University's Afro-American Studies Department, asked him whether the story was a metaphor or literal. Farrakhan claimed the aspects of the story had been proven accurate by modern genetic scientists and modern genetic science and insisted, insisted that personally I believe that Yakub is not a mythical figure. He is a very real scientist, not a big head silly thing as they would like to say. Farrakhan's periodical, The Final Call, continues to publish articles arguing that most modern science supports the accuracy of Elijah Muhammad's account of Yakub. The you NOI know, splinter groups, the 5% Nation and the United Nation of Islam, also believe in Yakub doctrine. In culture, drama. The American author and playwright Amiri Baraka's play, A Black Mass, takes inspiration from the story of Yakub. According to critic Mel Melanie McAllister, the character of Yakub, now called Jacob, is introduced as one of the three black magicians who together symbolized a, a, the black origin of all religions. McAllister, McAllister argues that Baraka turns the nation's myth into a reinterpretation of the Faust story and a simultaneous meditation on the role and function of art. As with Faust, Jacob's Individualism and egotism is, are his undoing, but his failings are also the signal of the destruction of the community. Baraka's version of the story also draws on the Frankenstein tale. He conflates the 600 years of Elijah Muhammad's history into a single terrible moment of the creation of a monster. In Baraka's version, the experiment creates a single Frankenstein-like white monster who kills Jacob and the other magician scientists and bites a woman, transferring into a vampire-like way into a devil, or into white devil mate for himself. From this monstrous couple, the white race is descended. Rap. According to Charisse L. Cheney, the doctrine of Yakub has had a sin significant influence in rap culture, referring to raps by Cam and Bre Grand Puma. The pseudoscientific 
a theory of racial formation was embraced by rap nationalists like former Ice Cube protege Cam in his 1995 Keep the Peace. A self-proclaimed member of the nation, Cam presented organizational doctrine as a way to explain the roots of black-on-black -black crime and gang violence in America's inner cities. I'm not really knowing who to blame or fault for this tension. I mentioned this gulp. Yakub's Cavey, the blue-eyed punk, playing both sides against each other. Yeah, now that's the real mother. In 1990, the Grand Pooba of Brand Nubian announced that the, his calling was to bring enlightenment to black people and an end to white domination. Here comes the god to send the devil right back to his cave. We're gonna drop the bomb on the Yakub crew. Chuck D. of Public Enemy also refers to the story in his song Party for Your Right to Fight, referring to the Yakub story, story by attributing the deaths of African American radicals to the grafted devils conspiring against the black Asiatic man. Method Man of the Wu Tang Clan promotes the story of Yakub in the old dirty bastard song Rawhide. Saying, a Mr. God, that's the work of Yakub. The Holy Ghost got you scared to death, kid, boo. In Wu Tang's clan song, Gravel Pit, at the end of it, can be heard a vocal sample from the 1997 movie Short Eyes, which says about Yakub. Yakub, maker and creator of the devil, swine merchant, your time is near at hand. With me and your time will be now. Your presence here affects the mind of my people like a fever. You, Yakub, are the bearer of 9,999 diseases. Evil, corrupt, pork chop, eaten brain. Wu-Tang member Ghostface Killer also references the story of Yakub in his song One from his album Supreme Clientele. He raps, Ayo, the devil planted a fear inside the black babies. It includes the verse with dead meat placed on the shelves. We eat cold cuts, fast from the hog yarn grow up, advocating the NOI's dietary practice to avoid pork. Nass rats, you devils will run back into the caves you came from. In a song, message to the feds, sincerely, we the people, from his album, The Street's Disciple. On a freestyle, the Drake song, we made it. J Electronica says, All these doubles, I gotta strike some. And JC says, I'm ready to chase Yakub back into the caves. Another rapper, notable rapper that publicly supports the Nation of Islam is Buster Rounds, who raps alongside Rick Ross in a song called Master Bard Muhammad in his 2020 album, Extinction Level Event 2 The Wrath of God. Media. Comedy hosts DeSeuss and Miro frequently declare the outlandish out actions or desires of certain white people as Yakubian. And done.